the moment is all you have. So make the use, make good use of every moment of your life. At my age, I don't even know if I'm going to wake up alive the next morning. So I don't waste a single day. Well, none of us do, though. That's the crazy I thing. I know, and they don't realize it. Right. When you, the young younger you are. especially don't realize it. Right. I think they will live forever. Exactly. Is, is that something endemic to our society? Is that, is that a Western thing, do you think? That sense of, of avoidance? No, it's, 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 it's a Western thing, but I know of societies and even segments of American society where people don't have that notion they're going to live forever. Right. I mean, I've talked with very, very poor kids who don't think they're going to live past 30. They're going to... Oh, inner city Yeah, they're going to be bangers. bumped off by yeah. a rival gang or right. by uh, a, uh, a misfired bullet or some disease that they can't afford to pay for, et cetera. Yeah. So, no, not all young kids do have that sense of uh, living forever. So, you're, you know, you're, you're 81 years old. You're, do you find yourself thinking about death more often as you get older, just because, you know, no one knows how much time is left? But I would say more often I've always been conscious of death. I've always had the image of myself and other people literally hanging by a string and forces inside or outside of ourself can cut that string at any minute. That's been a recurring image in my life. And it's something that I had in a psychedelic session, but I'd had that even before I'd heard of psychedelics. No, I've always been aware of the fragility of life. And did that enrich your life, do you think? Oh, yes. I mean... Um, I have done a lot of living, and I have not put a lot of things off. Right. When I was a teenager, um, as you know, I lived on a farm, and my parents were very good friends with a couple who came during the summer for a vacation professor and his wife, and I got to know their three kids, and I'm still in touch with their daughter, these years later, and their father, who was a college professor, had this elaborate trip to Europe planned for him and his wife when he retired, and he would go on and on about all the museums they were going to see, all the places they were going to go to, and he only had like 10 years before retirement, and it was something that uh, just sounded incredible. It sounded marvelous. And he, uh, the last time I saw him was at my father's funeral, and a few years after that, he had a heart attack, and he died, like two years before retirement. Yeah. So what happened is that his widow took the money and went to Europe by herself. Good for her. Yeah, it, you know, wasn't what they had planned, but at least she had the spunk to carry out uh, his intent. That and I was been. thinking, look, oh, I would never put off something like that. Yeah. Even though my finances have suffered because of it. <laughs> I hear that. But, yeah, but uh, uh, I don't think that, uh, look, Joy is so scarce in this world. Why postpone joy? Yeah. 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 That sounds like a, an ad for American Express. <laughs> I mean, you wonder if, if everybody really took death seriously, I wonder what would happen to the whole credit industry, you know, because it, it just it, it, it feels like the whole economy is built on this assumption that we're going to go on and on and we on. Did, yes. And it's just silly. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the, the whole carpe fucking diem thing. Um, one of the few times that I ever decided to put something off was when you invited me to join you in Portugal at that transpersonal psychology mm -hmm. conference. And it was the end of the summer. I hadn't worked for a long time. I didn't have any money. It was 
like, oh, my God, I just can't. This is, I'm, I'm sinking into debt. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up and said, what am I doing? This is, this is my friend Stanley. How, much, how many more of these trips am I going to be able to go on? I'm going to go. And not only am I going to go, I'm going to put my motorcycle on the train to Seville, and I'm going to ride my motorcycle to the conference, and I'm going to make a big trip of it, yada, yada, yada. Of course, that's where I met Casilda, right. the love of my life, and changed everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you're right. Don't, don't put it off because who knows? Who knows what you're going to find there? 